Okay, this is a very simple uh, rule. For this, you don't need to create a even uh, rule also. You can just go with a min and maximum quantity in the option level. That is also fine. Okay, just for a basic demo, I want to give a difference between validation and alert. Okay. Then now, we'll talk about some more complex uh, rules. Validation and alert. Okay. So, example already we discussed just now, right? In the previous number. Normal, normal, which one we buy more? Printers or toners? Toners. Okay. So always a toner quantity should be more than what? Printer quantity. Not a, like a printer's high quantity. Okay. What is the requirement? Toner quantity should be? Greater than printer quantity. More than? Printer quantity. This is normal business. Okay, no one will buy more uh, printers, less toners. Correct. Okay. So how we can achieve this functionality? If I'm giving more quantity, printer quantity compared to toner, I want to show the validation. Okay. But how you like get the quantity? For example, here, if I give the quantity, go to the configuration page. For example, here, the printer, example, I'll take printer, 100. Toner, what is the toner? Ah, here, toner. I'm giving 20. Or something, whatever it may be. So whenever I'm clicking save button, or apply rules button, okay, what is I want to do now is, I want to capture this quantity and this quantity. These two quantities you want, then only you can check quantities and you can show the error message. Yes or no? Before, after, be, after clicking the apply rules or save button, if you want to compare these two options quantity, then what should you should somewhere save this, whatever the number you are entering here, this should save somewhere. Yes or no? It should be, yes. it should note somewhere. Then you can give the condition. How, what is the condition you can give? What is the condition you can give? Printer quantity. Somewhere you have to store, right? So how we can store that uh, data? Okay. How we can store this uh, values in the background? Okay. So for that, what you can do is we have something called summary variables in a CPK. Uh, anyone knows the role of summaries in Salesforce? What is the role of summary? Anyone knows? Roll up summary, where we can create roll up summary field, what we, what we can do with the roll up summary. We can create on uh, master uh, detailed uh, relationships. Correct, man. It's a read only field. Correct. The read only field, it uh, performs a sum mag map. Correct. Yeah. What it will do, it will do some mags, min, average, something, count, all those things. Correct? Based, on the, based on the details yeah. in a detailed record. Correct. It will summarize child object. Simple. Right. It will count the child record. Okay, it will find uh, like a who paid maximum fee, who paid the minimum fee, count number of count records we have, or you can calculate total fee, something like that you can do, aggregate functions. Right? That is called roll-up summaries in a Salesforce. Here, in a Salesforce CPQ, same type of functionality will do by summary variables. Example, I want to know how many software family products I have selected. I want to count, for example, in this code, I can select a different, different family we have. Here, some, things, some products are like hardware, some are software, some are services. But I want to count, which count you want? Which count you want? I want to count only software family product in the background. So then what you can do? You can go for the summary variables. So whatever the products you have selected here, if you want to know all the products, like uh, how many, Options you have selected were family called hardware or software services. How we can achieve this functionality? Using summary bar. Same way, for example, I want to know count of sum of quantity in the background. Then whatever the product I've selected, that quantity I want to know in the background. Then you can use what? Sum. Okay. So summary variables also will do same thing. 
but mainly we can use the summary variables in a code line object or something called product option object product object or all those things okay so this is also sales for cpq object completely just you can go to the here just you can type a summary variable so here also we can do same actions if you click new button here you can see aggregate what you can do is so aggregate function what you can do is you can count some average min max for example i want to count all the options like how many hardware family options i have selected product i have selected then what you can do is count which field i have to use here which field you want to count now which field if I, you want now which field you want to aggregate count of which one what is your requirement now Software family product. So then which, which field you want to aggregate here? Field name equal to what you have to take here is family. What is the field name? Family. Which object? Family. Example, product object or code line object. In a code level, you can use code line object, product option. Here you should add a family. What is the field name you should add here? Family. 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 For example, here we can add the field name. Here you can add the field name. What is the family? Field. Family underscore underscore C. So whenever I'm selecting family, okay, product option family, what you want to count? Which count you want, madam? What is the count you want now? Here, information. Just to clear this error message. Okay, just I want to clear it. So here, family equals to which one, madam? Software. Understand, madam? I can go to software family count. What is the variable name? Yeah, just you can give the variable name simple like a uh, software count. Whatever it may be, you can give some meaningful name. So, which object? Product option object. Which field you want to hear is, madam? Family field. Yeah. Which, which one you want? Product family equals to software. Product family equal to software, that count you will get. Which field you want to use here? Aggregate field is family. Yeah. Understand, man, what is that? Like the same like role summary only. Okay. Yes. But in, in our case, what we want is not count. I want a sum of which one? Quantity. Which field I want now? Sum of quantity. Which quantities I want? I want printer, quantity. And uh, which one you want, madam? Other one? Toner quantity. If you know these two printer quantity and toner quantity, you can create a rule, right, madam? If uh, validation is uh, like a printer is more than toner, you can show the error message. But first, we can capture the quantities. So, how we can capture the quantities? <clears throat> Same steps. So, I can give the variable name equals to variable printer quantity. So, here I will take a sum. Which object? Product option object only. Which field? Quantity only. But here, which one we want? Which which quantity you want? Hmm? Which quantity you want? Printer. Hmm. Then how we can get a printer product? How we can identify print? that is a printer product? Yes. Product code equals to printer. If this product code equals printer, that is nothing but which one? Printer, printer product only, that quantity, sum of quantity we are getting in this variable. Clear what I'm saying? Understand what I'm saying now? Okay, not that much. So what is your requirement now? You want count quantity of which one? Sum of quantity which printer. one? Printer. 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 But how you know, like uh, how you can identify that is a printer product? We should know that, which product now? Previously, what is the condition I have used, madam? Family equals to? Software. software. And what is the meaning of this one? So this variable will filter the family equal to software all the products that count I'm getting now previously. Correct? Here we have to yes. use aggregate field equal to what? Family yeah. field. So, but in this case, what we would now? Quantity, right? That's why I'm taking what? Sum. Which quantity? Which product quantity you want? Printer. Printer. That is how we can identify. 
Previously, your requirement is you need to identify software family. Now, your requirement is what you need to identify? Code. Printer. Product. Uh, printer. Like printer, right? That, how we can identify that one? Fam, product code equals to? Product code. This. If this is a condition is matching, means that, that is nothing but what? You are selecting printer. That's why that product quantity will be available in this. <clears throat> Understand? Yes. Mm, this is a printer quantity variable. What is another variable you want? What is another variable, madam? Hmm. Product option. Product code. How you can identify which, uh, like, are you selected the toner? We have to go to the uh, product and take the product code of the toner. I am taking product code, madam. You also no need to take product code. You can take product name also fine. But what if you want to take product name, what you should use there? You have to add one more uh, filter fill here. What is the filter fill name? Name here. Product name equals to? But most of the cases, product name and code will be unique to right? That's why we'll take a code. Following everyone what I'm saying. No need yes. to use why I'm taking code. No need to take code, code only. You can take product name also. But this field, again, you need to add in the filter field. Understand, madam? Yes. Mm. I'm taking a toner cartridge. Click on save. <clears throat> now I have a toner quantity and printer quantity. Both I'm getting in the background. You're collecting both variables. Whenever I'm selecting in the code level, in the code level, whenever I'm selecting a toner or printer product option, that quantity will be available in these two variables. Clear? Yes. In the code page, whenever you are selecting, Printer and toner, that product option quantity is available in this variable. Okay, now you are capturing in the background. Okay, whenever I'm selecting toner, I will have a quantity of that toner in this variable. Okay, now you have a quantities, both variable and toner quantity. Okay, so now this is like not only count some, we have some other options so like a min, max. Average also you can do all those things. Okay. So this is like a summary variables. We can create like a summary variables like this based on the requirement. Okay. So now we can build a product rule. I'll make it separate for that one. 